Idubs' own wife embarrassed him in front of everyone. So recently, Idubs went in Twitch in front of 3,000 people raising money for charity. And including the event earnings, the money they raised was around $100,000 and they promptly donated all that money to charity, which is nice of him to do. And everything was generally upbeat for Idubs' career, even if the event wasn't as successful as he needed it to be. But, <laughs> okay there's a but. But, Idubs' wife decided it was a good idea to expose his embarrassing secrets in front of his live viewers and subsequently millions of people later on. Like, <laughs> jeez dude, like his own wife did him dirty. Like, I'm gonna show you a clip in a bit, but look at his face on his reaction when his own wife is like exposing his embarrassing issue in front of thousands of people. I want to ask Rajor a question first. Okay. Rajor. Wait, we should get Rajor in here. Okay. Yeah, I mean, if you can. Well, if you can. I just want to ask him if can. you've always been shitting your pants. No. Because since I've known you, you've always had, like, the IBS. You've always been shitting yourself. Yeah, well. Uh, we actually really didn't need to hear that from his own wife. Like, you really don't need to hear that at all because, like, I IBS is, uh, like, a sensitive topic for people who have it because they can't really control it. You can't, like, you know, cure it. I don't, I don't think it's curable, actually. Okay, I actually looked it up and there really isn't any cure for that shit. He actually has to wear diapers everywhere he goes just so he won't shit himself wherever he goes. But, yeah, it, the downfall of the bully is, you know something else like idubs was known as the bully on youtube you know he makes fun of people's appearances you know that the whole thing about uh, idubs is bullying leafy's chin but in the end he was actually wearing diapers and stuff in the background and yeah like his own wife put another nail to his coffin just for like a bit of content on the stream or like something to talk about on stream and you can see idubs's face like he's so uncomfortable when his own wife is talking about that shit i don't know it's saddening in a way for his own fans to see it because his fans Fans idolize his, you know, his bullyish nature and all that. Like, remember the content cup? Yeah, he bullies people on the content cup. And now he's just open to be bullied because all this info is just pouring out. By the way, guys, if you guys enjoy this type of content, please sub. I'd appreciate it. Anyways, let's continue this. Oh, yeah, and thank you in advance. It's really a stark contrast to what he once was because before on YouTube, uh, he used to be the dominant bully, you know, the dominant commentary channel. And he used to make these content cops to bully others and, you know, expose their embarrassing secrets in front of thousands, millions of people, actually, not thousands, millions. And now he's just like a shadow of his former self. All these secrets are being exposed. His wife, you know, putting a nail after nail into Ian's career. To be honest, this is really sad to watch from what he once was, actually. Ian, for example like I would say trashy or trailer park would be one um, like uh, untucked or like a bit unorganized and like simple right white well that goes with trailer trash oh, okay. um, but like but like there's three descriptors that he kind of always likes to follow he likes like um, it's a bit unkempt looking, but it's simple. He keeps it pretty simple. He'll have like one statement piece, maybe like that shirt. Um, and it always has the theme of like trailer park or <laughs> kind of just like, you know, that's Do his vibe. Do I identify vibe. with the trailer parks, Ian? Yeah. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Unpack <Beautiful. Beautiful>. that. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. <laughs> yeah, it, yeah, trailer parks are cool. There's a theory going around saying that iDubs may have a shaming fetish. And it kind of makes sense for the reason why he doesn't, you know, like tell his wife to don't expose this, don't expose that. Or him having little to no reaction other than um, looking depressed and looking down, you know. Ah, oh, dude, the golden boy. The golden boy on bullying. What, ha what has he become? <laughs> Well, that's pretty much it about this video, but I will talk about more about him in the future if anything else comes up that is worthy to talk about. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like, subscribe, and comment down anything about this situation that I may have missed or anything you need to add about the situation. Oh yeah, and also, I'm trying to reach 1,000 subscribers before, you know, the end of this year. So if you kindly sub, I'd really appreciate it. Well, that's about it. See you in a bit. Peace.